Amen. Damn, he's good. I want to pass the plate. He's, he's, he is really good. Um, Senator Cruz, what that reminds me of is I keep calling Joe Biden's national security policy his schizophrenic national security policy. And you hit on a lot of the points. Uh, Senator Graham, I'm honored to stand in this foxhole with you. I've never been more honored to stand with these group of soldiers here fighting for the safety and well-being of Israel. You know, I've often said, don't watch, or I've often said, watch what Joe Biden and the Democrats do. Don't watch what they say, watch what they do. This is Senator Schumer, November 14th in the National Ball. I quote him, we will not rest until you get all the assistance you need. We will not rest until you get all the assistance you need. Several hours later, we had a vote where they tabled standalone funding for Israel. As a matter of fact, six times the Democrats have voted against standalone funding for Israel. I would ask Leader Schumer, where's his outrage today? If he sits here and says that he would not rest until Israel gets the help they need, where is, where is his outrage today? April 17th, Wall Street Journal, Joe Biden, and I quote him, now is not the time to abandon our friends. The House must pass urgent national security legislation for Ukraine and Israel. So April 14th, uh, the President of the United States is saying this is urgent. This week, as several people have referenced, on Holocaust Remembrance Day, Joe Biden said, never again. Never again to the Holocaust survivors and Jewish Americans. Here he is saying one thing, but he does another. His words are empty. This is why he has no respect on the world stage. He now holds aid up to Israel with zero transparency and zero communication to Congress. I want to just talk a second about Joe Biden's schizophrenic foreign policy. This is what makes him such so so very weak, and and why our enemies don't don't fear us and our allies don't respect us anymore because he has a schizophrenic policy. He says he wants to help Israel, but he's bowing knee to a, to a handful of votes in Michigan. He can't thread this needle. He's putting political aspirations ahead of sound national security policy. That's why it seems schizophrenic to me and to many Americans as well. At the end of the day, we don't know where Joe Biden stands. I don't know where he stands on this issue. He says one thing, he does another. Does he stand with Israel or does he stand with Hamas? Does he stand with the anti-American protesters riding across, riding across Americans' college campuses? All of his actions are saying that he stands with Hamas. Again, I'm honored to be up here today, and I just want our friends in Israel to know, as for me and my family, we're standing with Israel. Thank you. Amen.